Hello and welcome to the section 5 of the course Autopsy Performing Forensics Operation. Now in this section we are going to take a look at various points. We are going to learn that how you can analyze the images and then what are the various autopsy features available. So let's start with the first video Autopsy Platform Overview. Now in this video we are going to take a look at couple of points. We will take a look at what is autopsy first of all and then the various features of liver. So first of all if you talk about what is autopsy. So autopsy is a platform which we can use to analyze the images in investigation process. So basically we already know that how we can gather the images right. For example you can take help of FTK imager or guy major tools to collect the images from operating system and then you can analyze these images with the help of autopsy. So it is a platform and uh, we can use it in investigation process. Autopsy is fast and free of cost. This is the main feature of autopsy that it is very fast. It can analyze your images quickly and it is free of cost. So you don't need to pay to use the autopsy. It is free of cost. You can use it in Windows or in Kali Linux. It can also recover pictures. So we can also use autopsy to recover the pictures which are available in the drives. So that can be done with the autopsy. So these are the features available. Now how it looks like. So basically autopsy looks like this and uh, it works on port number 9999 in localhost right and uh, this is the GUI of autopsy forensic browser right and uh, you can see that uh, there are three options or button available here open case new case and help so if you already have a case so you can click open case if you don't have a case if you want to start a new case then click on new case here and then help is also available here after clicking on new case you will get this window here in which you need to provide information about your case name then the description what you are doing in this case and uh, various information about uh, cases and uh, then you have to provide the investigator names your team in forensic project and after that you can click new case and that's how you can create a new case inside autopsy right then it will ask you the image files you provide the image files and it will start the analysis process so these are the basics of autopsy now how we can perform analysis so that we will cover in the next videos where we are going to perform practicals